Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous when they kept on just like changing buttons and shit. So it was like you play 2007, you're like, oh, okay. It's pretty it's like it was like a minor difference. But when you play 2008, and then like the other ones, like everything just changed. Fucking buttons just changed. I'm like, shit, more stuff to do. Yay. But a lot of people were pissed off because the later SmackDown versus Raw series either seemed the same to them. And there wasn't that much. Get your ass back down there. There wasn't like too much change as far as gameplay went. Some people think it was a step forward. Some people think it was a step back. Um, I, I like them, to be honest. I just like character creations. I like doing like little stories. Like At that time, I was just doing the stories in my head until Story Designer came out for the later games. One of my favorite reasons for even buying um, 2010. I just love the fucking story designer. And general manager mode in the, in the older games like 2006 and 7 were fucking great. Um, 8 had the 24-7 mode. That was also another great one. Uh, you know, I just, like, get lost in that shit. Like, I just completely just, you know, just start playing and and just, like, <clears throat> do that shit for hours and hours and hours. I actually liked the 24-7 mode in the later games. I thought that was badass. I believe that was 2011. Um, very, very cool, cool shit. Then there's the GameCube games, like I mentioned. <laughs> I actually love the GameCube games. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play WrestleMania um, 18. I played 19, and I, I fell in love with that shit, mainly because it was so different. It felt a lot like No Mercy. Um, you know, just just the controls, and I like the analog thing, and how it had, like, its little realism to it. Uh, Revenge Mode was fucking fantastic. Uh, it, you know, just going backstage, just beating the shit out of everybody. Um, you know, all the security, all the staff, because, you know, you got your ass thrown out, and now you're just trying to <clears throat> get, you know, revenge, obviously. That's why it's called <laughs> Revenge Mode. So I'm pretty sure a fuckload of people picked Brock Lesnar for that shit. Tons of people did. I know I did. And you had these cool, cool areas. And, um, you know, it just feels, like, nice. It feels smooth. It feels fast. Um, Day of Reckoning was the same way, too. Um, I like the graphics in Day of Reckoning um, 1 and 2. But to me, I just like WrestleMania 19 in general. I guess it's just the appearance of some of those old games that I really, really found attractive. And it was just one of those awesome, awesome things to, like, do, really. <clears throat> and then, you know, you have No Mercy as well, which people think is the greatest wrestling game of all time. Honestly, that's hard to disagree with, based on what they gave so much at that time. <laughs> they gave a lot of shit at that time. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I want to apologize if this match is ass, because... Like, me being tired, and me just, like, talking at the same time. It's like, I'm just doing the moves that... Oh, shit, this guy's fucking me up. That I can. Um, but as you can see, hard mode isn't really that hard. Not anymore. But, back to No Mercy. You know, people call it the greatest game, you know, the wrestling game of all time. Uh, it's hard to, you know, argue with that. Uh, you know, because at that time, it did a lot of shit that other wrestling games didn't. You had a finisher for, like, every fucking thing. They even had, like, the ability to just slam people on weapons. You can actually hear the sound, too. Where, you know, I, I was like, wow, they actually really had that shit. You know, it actually felt fun doing. Because, you know, you know, no matter what, if you slam them on the weapons, it just sounds, like, intense. And, you know, I always got excited for that. And, um... The, the specials were, were you know, great. And I, I should finish them off. You know what? Fuck this shit. You give me a hell of a time. I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Um, but, you know, it, you know, it, you had a bunch of finishers. You can actually edit your characters. Like, not just, like, your creative characters. Obviously, that's, like, a mandatory thing. We can actually edit the wrestlers in this shit. Oh, what a reversal by Pikachu. Um, so you can actually, like, you know, just make her angle bald. You can just give Kane his old look. Oh, is he really gonna... Oh, 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 that was scary. Um, you can make Kurt Angle bald, you know, Kane bald with his old, you know, attire. You can make The Rock bald, you know, you can put anything on anybody that, that you want. You know, Triple H with his short hair. Um, I've seen some people create Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, which looked fucking great. Um, you know, No Mercy was great, you know, it, it felt more realistic. Um, it was like, like hardcore to the point of realistic. Um, the newer games, the 2K series, I, I like that too. Obviously, as time went on, they went more towards the realistic look, uh, which I didn't mind. I thought it was pretty nice. I mean, there there was some improvements there. Um, 
But for me, SmackDown 2 will always be my favorite. Uh, this is that kind of game that I love playing with my girl. This is the kind of game I love playing with my friends. Um, you know, it'll take a while to get used to. The Royal Rumble, I believe, for Dreamcast was very similar to this too. I just like fast paced, you know, fighting and stuff like that. Yeah, let's see if I can get the fuck out of this cage and just take home the bacon. If he gets back up, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Yep, I got this. I got this. And that's pretty simple. I'll probably do the I quit match just for the fuck of it. See how that goes. It's kind of disappointing <laughs> when, like, you play the game so damn much that it's not even as hard as it was when you was a kid. I feel like kind of disappointed and robbed. I don't know. So I'll throw in this bonus match. The I quit match, me versus Pikachu. If anything, I'll do more. Um, this is, you know, just another random video. I'll actually be doing... Why did I switch? <laughs> Everything was right there. Um, I'll be doing, like, the official video soon now that I have my channel trailer and I have, like, everything else. So, I'll be doing the official video soon. My first one for this channel, actually... Well, after I do one more random video that I was going to do before with Yuffie Kisaragi for Era Guys, but for some reason that messed up, so I, I gotta do it again. But that would be like my one of my fewer last random videos. Uh, the first official one will be uh, the story of Era Guys, a story that many people didn't know. Now, I might sound like a broken record when I keep on talking about Era Guys over and over and over and over again. Um, you know, it, it's my favorite game. I mean, I can't help it. <laughs> Anybody talks about their favorite game, um, you know, that, that they absolutely love. So, for me, you know, Air Guys, like a lot of other fighting games, has a story. Those who are not that hardcore into it won't know that. Um, you know, some people think that Street Fighter doesn't have a story simply because when you go to arcade, you simply just fight through it and you just play like a little mini um, thing, depending on which game you have. Now, obviously, I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan. I don't hate the game. Um, I just not too fond of the characters. I mean, I've seen a lot of characters that look a lot flashy, for example. Um, characters from King of Fighters, you know, things like, like that, characters from Soul Calibur, you know, I think they're more creative, that's just my thing, my opinion, that's how I feel. But the gameplay in Street Fighter is obviously phenomenal, or oh, it wouldn't be so popular, I just want to just throw this out there, this little funny glitch, um, Smackdown 2, I mean, I used to climb, like, super high, I mean, but the thing about this is that if you do, and you continue to just, like, um, climb up, it'll freeze. Anyways, um, you know, Street Fighter's fighting is phenomenal, that's why people love it, that's what attracted people to it, um, if, if it wasn't for that, you know, then it probably wouldn't have been the best game, so I give Street Fighter credit for that, I actually like playing it, I just not a, it's like that game that I wouldn't really buy, but if somebody, like, had it there and they said, oh, let's play, I'm like, okay, sure, let's hit a few rounds, um, my top two are Era Guys and Rival Schools, but, anyways, back to what I was saying before, um, <clears throat> you know, people didn't know too much about, you know, Era Guys' story. In fact, they just thought that Era Guys was just a shit game entirely. You know, they didn't know how to control the game, so they immediately dubbed the game as just shit. Um, uh, that's actually their fault, not the game's fault, because the game explained it. Uh, yeah, I sound sour and salty as fuck, but what can I say? Uh, people can't follow instructions these days. Instruction following is probably one of the most core strong things that a lot of people just don't do anymore and the story you know it even gives you a little bit of the story in the manual uh you can also find the pdf online um but the thing about that is that you patch it together you could probably make the full story for it but i'll just do that for you based on everything that i've read and some extra information that i found so i'll, I'll just do that so that would be my first video the story of area guys that people didn't know about and I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, you know, again, like I said, back then with Era Guys, you know, I played it because Cloud Strife was in it. Um, and, you know, the Final Fantasy characters was in it. I played, you know, pretty much like a scrub. It's funny because this is called Scrub Squad Overdrive. But I played like a scrub. Didn't read the manual. Just ran around constantly. Still had fun. Um, just spammed the same moves over and over again. I was still pretty young. And, um... You know, it, it it was fun, but then I stopped because I I was like, okay, you know, my fun is over. That's pretty much it. Let me go on to I think I was like into Dragon Ball Z games at that time. So pretty much, 
you know, I stopped, I came back to it, I got a lot of more respect for the game due to the fact that I actually understand it now, and, you know, I know how to play properly, um, you know, I started trying to master some of the just frame moves, which I'm pretty decent at it, um, still need a little more work, but my timing, you know, the improvements in, in my timing has gotten a hell of a lot better than, you know, what they were before, um, so I thought, you know, that was great, um, but let me see what else, and then, you know, there was the story, you know, I, I gained a lot of respect for the game, mainly because of its gameplay, how different it was, uh, and, you know, and the fact that, you know, there was a story attached to that, too, and I just put everything together, um, because it seems a little bit confusing, when you're looking through it, and you're trying to figure out, like, what happened when, there's still a lot of holes, like, within the plot, uh, a lot of confusing shit, um, but it's not as bad, it, it, it's not that bad, so I, I just went through it, just put everything together, and I said, oh, okay, cool, I got this, I got that, so that'll be my first video, and as for everything else that I plan to do, well, I gotta pretty much see about that, because I have tons of stuff that I want to do, I still gotta do the review, the greatest review of all time, uh, with Era Guys itself, um, I have to do something for Batman and Robin, obviously these are all, oh, please don't quit Batman, please don't quit, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't, okay, good, he's still alive, um, yeah, something for Batman and Robin for PlayStation, um, a lot of comparisons, I'll compare it to the Arkham Knight, and, or the Arkham series in general, because it looks like a early, early version of it, um, and that might be my dog barking in the background, but, yeah, it's a very, very early version of it, and, you know, I'm just curious about it, I just like comparing shit, old and new, in a sense of, you know, just improvements or how it was similar, whether it was underrated or not, um, I have another channel, my, um, Raven channel, Ranting Raven channel, uh, where my name is Raven Von Raven, R-E-I-V-U-N is how it's spelled, but I believe it's pronounced Raven, but I just make it simple for people. Oh, damn, this guy's really on his A-game, <laughs> this guy wants to fucking, like, just take home the win, this guy's not, like, showing any, any mercy, so let's see, we go here with the Batcopter, and this should pretty much say, what? He just fucking got up, oh my goodness, what the shit, oh, fuck, I gotta fucking put him away, this guy's, like, dangerous, this guy's, like, getting stronger, like, Goku Black or some shit, <laughs> like, oh my goodness, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the stuff I'm going to do and stuff that my group's going to do. We're going to have some scrubs of the round table coming soon. And, you know, that, sh that should be the end of it. And there, I got my revenge without having to play revenge mode in GameCube. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini playthrough. Uh, I actually had fun. I just wish the computer fell back a little more. But, hey, maybe I'll get lucky later on. As Fatal 4 ways and extra matches with extra people like that do not fucking go easy. So this has been a little quick video with Raven on Raven, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.